Hi, I'm QDC. What we're about to build today is Dragon's Sherman Firefly, the hybrid hull, and also Vertigo Productions British Sherman Firefly storage, ammo, and crew. This is part two of the Sherman Fly diorama, and so let's go start building this kit right now. Let's go take a look inside this box. We have the instruction sheet, tracks, figures, turret, upper hull, part of the lower hull, The lower hull itself, and the wheels. I want to talk to you about working with photo etch parts. This is a photo etch part and right over here is a headlight guard. And working with photo etch parts really is not that hard. What you need to do is you need to use a knife and simply cut the part out of the fret. And once you have the part out, you need to shape it in place. What I'm going to use is I'm going to use an end of a paintbrush and I'm going to simply bend this piece of metal into a shape that I want. Right over here. I want to talk to you more about Verding Ink Productions accessory pack. So in this particular kit, you get quite a lot of extra um, accessories for your model tank. You get the figures and really just a treasure trove of accessories um, in this bag, including ammo casings, bed rows, packs, gas cans, everything you would want. And here's a picture of what it's supposed to look like right over here. Now, in my personal opinion, I think that this picture is, is, is historically inaccurate. And the reason why is because there's just too many things on the back and it's not even tied down. I looked at historical photos of Sherman tanks and the Firefly, when they have extra storage in the back, they're one quarter of that. And it was tied down with some sort of rope. 
because when you go down through a uh, road or any other terrain uh, without tying it down it's going to fall right off so I'm not going to use everything here um, in, in, in this kit just a quarter of it All right, so we built the model kit, and now it's time for me to show you what I think about this model kit so far. Take a look. This is the completed model kit after assembly, and it looks really nice. I like the Dragon's kit itself, highly detailed, and I like the texture of the turret. The bogies looks pretty nice and realistic. And the addition of the Verlinden production accessories really help make this model um, gives it an authentic look. I like I like the Verlinden production accessories a lot. Although I like this model kit, there's one thing that I do not like, and that is the instructions, the one that I'm pointing at right here. And this instruction sheet has omitted part numbers and also it omitted uh, steps entirely so it was a challenge for me to actually build this model kit but it wasn't that bad for me now that being said I would not recommend this model kit for the beginners but only for the intermediate and for the advanced modeler it's time for me to paint the model It's time for me to paint my model. I already gave the entire model a uh, coat of black primer and now it's time for me to use my airbrush and paint the entire model with the coat of the main color. I'm going to protect my entire model. I'm going to give my entire model a coat of future floor wax. I'm going to do some pin washing. What you see right here is a dilution of black artist oil paint and mineral spirits. And I'm going to simply just uh, do some pin washing all over my model. I'm going to add some rain streaks. I'm going to put a dot of flesh colored paint right over here. And then with another brush, moistened with mineral spirits, I'm going to make a streak mark by just simply brushing it down. I 
I'm going to add some tip effects. I just use ordinary sewing thread to represent rope to tie down all the extra equipment for this tank. I'm going to do my entire model dust effects. I'm going to tint my entire model with a coat of buff color. I'm going to give some mud effects. What you see right here is the dilution of yellow glue and water. And right over here is a bottle of towel ground. And what I want to do is that I'm going to apply dilution of glue where I want the mud to be applied. And then I'm going to simply sprinkle on the towel ground. Okay, so we finished building the kit. It looks very nice, highly detailed, and now it's time for us to build the diorama. It's time for me to build the diorama. What you see right here is a wooden base that I bought at my local craft store and I protected it by giving it a clear coat. This is pre-mixed towel grout, static grass, and more towel grout in the powdered form. And my first step is to put in the premixed towel grout. Now I'm going to add static grass. It's time for me to add the powdered towel grout. I blew away the excess material with forced air and now I'm going to put my model onto the base. To give my model a sense of weight, I'm going to use my knife and just push away some of the um, ground material to make it look like it has weight. Okay, so we built the model kit, we painted it, we weathered it, and we even made a diorama out of it. And now it's time for me to show you the entire model project from the beginning to the end. Take a look. This is the completed model diorama after painting, weathering, and making the base. And I think I've done a fine job. I really like the rain streaks and the verting productions um, extra materials really help make this model look really nice and of course the figures looks very nice as well. I like my own mud effects and the extra storage with the tie downs of the rope tying down the crates really gives it a nice realistic appearance. It's a very nice project that I've done. Very nice. That completes this model project. What you're about to see next is a video slideshow of the entire diorama. But before I go, as always, just because I put this video here on YouTube, it doesn't make me a model kit expert. I am not an expert. I'm just a regular guy just like you. I hope this video encouraged you to build a model kit of your own. Either it's a model tank, a model plane, a model train, or even an automobile. It doesn't matter. 
In the end, it's all about having fun. I'm QDC. Thanks for watching, and always, please, have a great day.